Dominic Upsula, welcome to another realestate.com.kh TV report. Today we have Grant Fitzgerald back in the studio. Grant is Country Manager for IPS Cambodia, Independent Property Services. Uh, they're a real estate agency that have been active in Cambodia for over seven years and have offices in Phnom Penh and Sam Reap. Thanks very much for joining us today, Grant. Thanks for having me, James. Pleasure to have you here. So, Grant, can you, can you give us a quick, a quick rundown on the different types of land titles available in Cambodia? Okay, sure. The, uh, the first type of title is a, what's called a soft title. Um, this is still the most common form of ownership here in Cambodia with around 85% of property uh, still held under a soft title. Uh, these soft titles, they're registered at the sand cattle, the calm, which is a local level of government. Um, and as such, they're actually quite cheap and, and uh, fast to transfer. Um, the transfer of one of these titles usually takes less than 10 working days um, and the cost is very low compared to the other types of titles available. Uh, hard titles is the next type of uh, title that's available. These are the strongest form of land ownership here in Cambodia uh, they're re and they're registered at the Ministry of Urban Land Management. Um, Transfer of these titles are done at the cadastre office. It usually takes about 12 weeks, a little longer at the moment actually. Um, and there's a 4% transfer tax uh, when transferring these titles. There's also what's uh, called an LMAP title. Um, this is a, LMAP stands for Land Management and Administration Project. Um, and this was initiated in 2002 with the help of the World Bank. Uh, with the idea of improving the quality of the information on, on the, on the uh, property titles here in Cambodia. Um, again, similar to hard titles, they're registered at the, uh, at the Ministry of Urban Land Management uh, and the transfer process, process takes about 12 weeks uh, with a 4% uh, transfer tax as well. Uh, and the last type is uh, co-ownership or strata titles. Um, these ones are available to foreigners where the others aren't. Um, and these ones, there's a number of criteria for, to get a strata title. Um, only applies to new developments built after 2010. Um, only, it's up to 70% foreign owned. Foreign owned uh, has to be within 30 kilometres of a border and has to be uh, above the ground floor. Thanks Grant for coming in. It's been a pleasure chatting. Thanks for having me. No worries. And for all our viewers, cheers for tuning in to another realestate.com.kh TV report. Stay tuned uh, for more real estate news and analysis.